It's been a while since I've done one of these, so let's look at some more cards that are made by AI. It's been a few months, so I know that there's going to be a lot of them. First up, we have Discord Recovery Count Continuous Trap. When you activate a Discord card or effect, you could discard one Discord monster. Add one Discord spell trap from your deck to your hand. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you could add 12 Discord cards from your deck or graveyard to your hand. You can only use this effect of Discord Recovery once per turn. Very, very broken of a card. If they had other Discord cards to go along with this one. Um, I'm going to see what these ones are. We have Mana Astera. And it is a live twin, rank 2, dark fiend, 100, 1000, 2 plus level 2 monsters. This card can attack directly when or while in the extra monster zone. Once per turn, during each player's turn, you can detach one material from this card and inflict 1000 damage to your opponent. And if you do, draw one card. If this face up card on the field would be destroyed, you could attach one material instead. This is a really good card. I really like that. Then we have another live twin monster. I am not going to attempt to pronounce that. It is a level 2 light cybers tuner. 500 attack, 0 defense. When this face up defense position card is targeted for attack, destroy this card. When this card is normal or special summon, you can banish one cybers monster from your graveyard. If you banish one monster from your graveyard, by this effect, you could destroy one monster your opponent controls, and then destroy one monster your opponent controls. So, banish one monster. If you banish the one monster from this effect, you destroy two monsters your opponent controls. Pretty, pretty good. Aqua for life. And one water dragon, or one plant monster, from your deck to your hand. You can only activate one Aqua of Life once per turn. This is just here. <laughs> uh, very, very interesting card. But Plant Road is pretty good. The Agent of Nephetheus. It's a Spellcaster Ritual with 2000 attack, 2000 defense, and a level 6. You could Ritual summon this card with Undying Flames of Nephetheus. If you do, destroy all spell and trap cards on the field. During the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was destroyed in the monster zone by an opponent's card effect, you can special summon this card but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use each effect of the Agent of Nephethys once per turn. That's it's good. Rainbow Warrior It is a level 8 Wind Monster 2000 Attack 2500 Defense. And let's see what it does. One Rainbow Token. Monster Tuner Level 1 Attack 1000 Defense 1000. If your Rainbow Token attacks your opponent. Oh, your opponent cannot activate any spell trap cards until the end of the damage step. If you would take effect damage, you can take no damage. While you control a tuner monster, this card gains attack equal to the original attack of your opponent's synchro summoned monsters. Also, your opponent cannot activate monster effects until the end of this turn. Until the end of your opponent's turn. If this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by your opponent's card, you can target one rainbow token in your graveyard. Special summon it. You can only use this effect of Rainbow Warrior once per turn. It tried so hard. But it went too much to the Rainbow Token. <laughs> and it doesn't even have a way to summon it. Guess you send the Rainbow Token to the graveyard? King Crush. Level 4 Light Dragon. 502,000. We have... Once per turn you can target up to 2 Light Dragon Monsters in your graveyard. Discard one card, and if you do, neither player can co-possess the same monster again during the end phase. If this card is tributed 
in the same ritual summon you co-possessed. You get to destroy one face up monster your opponent controls instead. Upstairs. Huh. Interesting. Shadow of the Mizuchi. It is a trap card. Pay 2,000 life points. Self decay out here. Shadow Lighthouse. You could only control one Shadow Lighthouse. Lighthouse Dragon and Lighthouse Lazy cannot attack. Also, each gain one of its own effect that is different from each other. And you can only activate one Shadow Lighthouse. Or you can only control one. Twice. Okay then. Insector Overlord. Dark rank 4 Insector Exceed. 2300 attack, 10 defense. <laughs> Let's see how bad it is. So, 3 level 4 dark monsters. If this card is Exceed Summon, you can apply these effects in sequence depending on the materials used as their orientations. Forbidden. Original attack and defense 82. Forbidden from battle or card effect or forbidden except during the damage step dry land then we have unknown but not plant or zombie but all belong to this card's owner no unreal or fairy but its effects are negated draw one card you cannot special summon monsters in the extra deck with the same name as any monster special summon from the extra deck except dark monsters if this card battles, and you still control no monsters, destroy all cards your opponent controls after damage calculation. This card is glitched. Very glitched. Oh, we have a generic normal monster, the Trumpet Hand of Ra. Earth Fairy, Warrior, Normal. For those who swear by the Rising Sun Deity to swear by their ancient power, these people are famous for their soft elbows. <laughs> That's a mm -hmm. 1200 attack, 1300 defense. That's actually funny. Photon charge man, it's level 5 light. And then, let's see. 1900 attack, 800 defense, level 5. This card names this card's name become Galaxy Photon while it, on the field or in the graveyard. You can only use each of the following effect of Photon Charge Man once per turn. During your main phase, you can make this card gain 200 attack until the end of the next turn. If this card is sent to the graveyard as Synchro Material, you can target one Galaxy Eyes Photon Monster you control or in the graveyard banish it. Excuse me. There's also other Photon cards. Uh, Photon Advancer, Photon Caesar, Crusher. Oh. Those are, might be actual cards. We have Magic E Bear Escalon. <laughs> okay. It's a beast fusion effect, 2500 attack, 2000 defense, level 6 earth. Two plus monsters with different attributes. Must first be fusion summoned, cannot be destroyed by battle, and gains 200 attack for each different attribute in your graveyard. Quick effect. You can send one Magic E monster you control to the graveyard, negate. The effects of one effect monster that was special summoned from the extra deck until the end of this turn. Gains attack equal to the combined original attack of the monster sent to the graveyard by this effect. During the battle phase, you can send one magic key monster from your deck to the graveyard this way. When this card with when this card with this card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one magic key monster from your deck. You can only use one magic key bearer Ascalon effect per turn and only once that turn this is a really really interesting card the artwork's hilarious and finally let's get into this one we have so this is the end of the graveyard shut the fuck up it's just it's all just a form of card excavation, Obelisk the Tormentor. It's a dark wing beast effect, level 8, 2000 attack, 1000 defense. Cannot be special summoned. Once per turn, you can excavate the top card of your deck, and if it's a monster, send it to the graveyard. Then place one spell counter on it. Otherwise, send it to the graveyard, then place one 
spell counter on it instead. This card cannot be destroyed by battle. This card can make a second attack during each battle phase. Oh lord. Uh, let's do one more. The official, official rules of the United States. It's a continuous trap card. Each player must send one card from the top of his or her opponent's deck to the graveyard. During the end phase of the turn, that a card sent, is sent from the deck to the graveyard, the player who sent the monster with the highest attack to the graveyard by this effect can special summon one melodious monster from their deck. Oh my lord. <laughs> but I hope you guys did enjoy this. Going back through quite a bit of the AI generated cards. But anyways, I have been Bolt Sweater. I hope you guys did enjoy and see you guys in the next video.